Zombies are awesome. Video games are awesome. Put the two together and... Dear God. The zombie survival horror genre of video games is one of, if not the most oversaturated genres in gaming of all time. I swear, it's like no matter where you look, there's always a zombie survival horror game somewhere. Ah! As always, with oversaturation comes a varying level of quality between each game. Games like Dead Rising, World of War Zombies, and RE4 are by far some of the greatest zombie survival horror games ever made. And then there's Seven Days to Die. What the fuck am I looking at? The point is, is that during the 2000s, zombie games were damn near impossible to avoid and eventually would start to fill up with more garbage over time. Until Valve said, hold my crowbar and decided to drop one of the greatest zombie games of all time. The original Left 4 Dead was released in November of 2008 and revolutionized the zombie survival horror genre by introducing a dynamic co-op system as well as a dynamic gameplay experience as a whole. I'll of course talk more about that once I get into the gameplay portion of the video, but the point is, is that the original Left 4 Dead was a masterclass in zombie survival video games. And then Valve released a sequel a year later and improved upon the original in every way. Left 4 Dead 2 was everything that the original Left 4 Dead was, but 10 times better. Not only did it introduce brand new characters that were just as interesting and fun as the characters from the first game, but it also added more content that made the already incredible gameplay of Left 4 Dead more fun. Stuff like melee weapons, all new infected, and even a fucking chainsaw were just some of the things that were added with Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2 is the true pinnacle of zombie survival video games, and it even includes the original game's campaign, so because of that, I'll be talking about both Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 as if they're just one game. Trust me, it makes my job a whole lot easier. Anyways, enough about the backstory of the game, I think it's finally time I talk about Left 4 Dead 2 and find out what exactly made it so awesome. Before we get into the gameplay, I want to very quickly talk about the story of the game, because while Left 4 Dead's story isn't game-changing or groundbreaking by any means, it's still pretty solid in my opinion. Now, what I love the most about both of the Left 4 Dead games is that the story is perfectly explained to you in these great-looking cutscenes before you even get to the main menu. Everything you need to know about the characters and the situation they're in is explained to you through these cutscenes, and because it's a Valve game, these are the only cutscenes in the whole game, which leaves the rest of the story to be told through just playing each level and hearing the characters interact with each other. As you go through each level, you'll hear each character talk about their past experiences and what they did before the apocalypse happened. It's a great way of adding depth to each of the characters and makes you genuinely care about them. The backstories of the characters aren't long and drawn out and the characters are legitimately interesting. When you look at the characters in Left 4 Dead or Left 4 Dead 2, you can see that they all have their own distinct personalities and little quirks that make them different from one another. Compare this to a game like Back for Blood, where the characters have zero personality whatsoever, and it's so easy to see why Left 4 Dead's characters are so great. The story of the first game follows four survivors, Bill, Francis, Lewis, and Zoe, as they fight their way through a zombie apocalypse that was started due to an outbreak of the green flu, as it's called. The second game story is very similar, just with a different cast of characters, those being Ellis, Coach, Rochelle, and Nick. As you progress through the story, you'll find yourself traversing through various different environments, which I will talk about more later in the video but all I'll say right now is that the environments of the levels in the game are fantastic. The story is divided into multiple campaigns, each having two to five chapters depending on what campaign it is. Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2 are not long games by any means, but they don't have to be. You're not playing Left 4 Dead for a deep, enriching story experience, you're playing it because you want to shoot zombies and have fun. That's even proven by the fact that the game lets you experience the levels in any order you want. You don't have to start with the first campaign in either game. You can if you want, but if you just want to play a specific level over and over and over again like I did with Rooftop Finale as a kid, go for it. You may have angry Redditors telling you that you're playing the game wrong, but who has ever cared about what people on Reddit think? Honestly though, I think that covers just about everything when it comes to the story and the characters of Left 4 Dead. As I said, the story of Left 4 Dead isn't super deep by any means, but it gets the job done. I've always seen the story of Left 4 Dead as something that was just kind of there, but never at the forefront of the experience. At the end of the day, what really 
really matters most in Left 4 Dead is the characters, not so much the main plot itself. Now, I'm sure I'll get some angry comments telling me I'm wrong and that the story is one of the most important aspects of the game, but I'm sorry, I've just never seen it that way. It's a good story, don't get me wrong, but it really is the last thing I think about when I'm playing the game. Now, outside of the main campaign, there's other modes which consist of versus, survival, and realism. There's also another mode called mutation, which I completely forgot to mention in my script, but essentially it's a whole other mode that lets you experience the game in very different ways. Mutations are essentially just little extra modes that you can play that make the experience more fun and interesting. These can range from simple things like play through the game solo with no AI teammates or anything, or even just things that feel like they could be their own separate modes like this holdout challenge. Mutation's a pretty sick mode, but it's not something I ever played as a kid, and honestly, I kinda regret that. Mutation's a really fun mode, and I have no idea why it took me this long to play it. Then on top of that, there's another mode called Scavenge, which is just versus, but the survivors also have the task of looking for gas cans on top of having to fight the player-controlled infected. Now, while all the modes I just talked about are great, versus is by far the most fun mode in the entire game. Essentially, the mode is just more of a team-based mode, with one of the teams being the survivors and the other being the infected. The main objective of the infected is to prevent the survivors from reaching the safe house at the end of the level. If playing as an infected and constantly fucking over your friends doesn't sound fun to you, then one, I don't think you'll like Versus very much, and two, do you even know how to have fun? Anyways, Versus is a great mode, and if you haven't played it for some reason, I definitely recommend giving it a try. Along with Versus, there's Survival, which is pretty much just a time trial mode. The goal is to just survive as long as you can and it's pretty damn tough speaking of tough realism is a pain in the ass not saying it's a bad mode or anything but damn can it be rough all realism does is remove important elements from the gameplay experience like the hud and the colored glow around your teammates that lets you know where they are it's honestly a nice change of pace if you're used to playing through the game normally if you want a challenge realism is definitely the way to go now that i've talked about the story and modes though i think it's time that we finally get to talking about the most important aspect of the game the gameplay The gameplay of Left 4 Dead is nothing short of amazing. First of all, we can't talk about the gameplay of Left 4 Dead without mentioning just how dynamic all of it is. My favorite thing about this game is that it's always different each time you play the game. A lot of zombie games have this problem where they just get repetitive after a while because the gameplay always remains the same. I love COD Zombies as much as the next guy, but after having played Zombies and CODs for the past 12 years, I know exactly what happens each time, making for a repetitive experience. Every time I load up COD Zombies, I know how many zombies spawn each round and how long each round lasts. Not to say COD Zombies isn't fun, but it falls into that trap of repetitiveness since the rounds play out the exact same every time you play. The only thing that truly makes it random is the mystery box. With Left 4 Dead though, while the core levels remain the same each time you play, the entire gameplay experience can change depending on what situation you and your teammates are in. For example, if you're in need of ammo, the game will spawn ammo for you in the next section of a level, but if the game feels you're just too good at the game and breezing through a level too quick and easy, the game just throws whatever it can at you to stop you in your tracks. The game will adapt to however you choose to play the game, which is just the coolest thing I've ever seen in a video game. It's a shame Turtle Rock had this awesome system and decided to completely ruin it in Back for Blood. Seriously, what the fuck were they thinking with that game? Anyways, Left 4 Dead's gameplay is the definition of perfection. The other thing I love most about Left 4 Dead is that it isn't like other zombie games because rather than the goal just being to stay alive for as long as possible like in COD Zombies, Left 4 Dead instead sees you trying to get from point A to point B of a level while fighting through hordes of zombies, all while managing not only your health but the health of your teammates as well. It's that teamwork factor that plays a part in making Left 4 Dead's gameplay as fun as it is. It also helps that the AI in this game isn't dumb as rocks so you aren't 100% doomed if you don't have friends to play with. It's definitely more fun if you play with friends but you're still able to make it through the game with the AI, which is always nice. The best part about the gameplay is by far the level design in each campaign. Now sure, not every level is 100% perfect, Blood Harvest is by far my least favorite level in the game, but campaigns like Dark Carnival and No Mercy have remained my favorites all throughout the years just because they have a certain atmosphere and dark tone to them that just makes them a joy to play through. When you're playing through those campaigns, you'll notice that they just have a super eerie and creepy vibe to them, which is 
is part of the reason why I love those campaigns so much. Combine the dark and eerie elements from the levels with the ambient sound effects, the music stings, and all the various sound effects from the infected, and what you get is a perfect zombie survival horror experience. The sound of each infected is unique and distinct from one another. The game makes it easy for you to know when there's a specific kind of infected nearby just off the sound effects alone, which is just awesome. Overall, Left 4 Dead 2's gameplay is still solid even to this very day. It's just so fun being able to run through hordes of zombies while playing with your friends while trying not to die in the process. While there have been many zombie games released since this game came out, I don't think any of them have captured the same amount of fun that was in the gameplay of Left 4 Dead. If you find World War Z fun, that's great, but it just won't ever be as fun as Left 4 Dead. Nothing will ever be as good as Left 4 Dead. Except for that.